Hello everyone, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Well, as promised, in this episode we will go out and build a small oil refinery. It's not going to be a huge operation, so don't expect anything big, but it will be big enough to create all the plastics and rubbers that we will need. It will have to be built in a pretty dangerous area, so we will run into quite a few aliens along the way, but I think all the effort will be well worth it in the end. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. And we are back. Alright, <clears throat> if you remember, in the last episode I wanted to go out and maybe uh, set up a bit of an oil production. So, before we do that, let's take a look what we need. Uh, crude oil. What kind of deposits are we talking about, by the way? So, crude oil deposit. It might take a couple seconds of, uh, for this to reach the actual site. Uh, in the meantime, what can we do? Uh, not much. Okay, fine. So, the deposit that I decided to go for is going to be here. Oh, there you are. So, what kind of deposits we have? Impure, normal, normal. We have a pure one, okay. And a bunch of temps. I think they should be somewhere behind them, I suppose. Okay. So, we have a pure deposit. If I remember correctly, that's going to be 240 per minute. Yeah, I think so. So, crude oil. 240 per minute means uh, input 30 per minute. Hmm. Or both rubber and plastics. Well, that is actually pretty good because that is divisible, uh, 240 is divisible by 30. So I suppose we can have four making plastics and four making rubber. Yeah, now don't forget, this will give us heavy oil residue. That one will need to be taken care of because if we don't, then things will back up and that would not be ideal for continuous production. So with the heavy oil, we can either make petroleum coke or uh, fuel. Okay, I believe fuel can be used in... Let me see... No, it's not unlocked yet. Where is it? Oh, right. It is the petroleum power. So comes consumes fuels, yes. Okay. But for that one we need rubber and plastics. So, yeah, we cannot use it right now. The best we can do is to turn the uh, heavy oil into petroleum coke and feed it into the coal generators, I suppose. Uh, the petroleum coke can be used for that, right? Petroleum coke, use for crafting, carbon rich, da -da -da, heavier residue. Yeah, as a less efficient coal replacement, so that's going to be fine. Now, what is the actual production rate? Output 120 per minute. Now, we will feed this into coal generators, but they will not be used as a main source of power. We only need them to burn off the excess of these, and that's going to be fine. If we back this uh, system up, it should be with plastics and rubber. So, yeah. So, what do we need? I think I will go for a single oil extractor. So, if you don't mind, I will... Where are you? Production. Yeah. A single oil extractor. And... Well... Yeah, let's go for eight refineries. And let me just check. So... Uh, of the oil residue. This will come out of these two. 
10 from the plastic and 20 from the rubber. So I believe 40 and 80, 120 all together. And we can use 40 in one uh, refinery. Okay, so we need three more. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. Three more refineries. That is a problem because that will require a lot of motors and we only have 50 at the moment. Well, either way. Uh, let me see. We will of course need a lot of pipes. A bunch of uh, splitters and belts. Because uh, the petroleum coke will be a solid item. Of course, a lot of platforms and all that kind of stuff. And power, of course. So, yeah, we might need to bring the big power poles with us. Anything else we need to worry about? I don't think so. Okay, I will put down as much stuff as we can. Um, first things first, the... Uh, plant materials can go into the refinery. Uh, this is for the wood and this is for the leaves. Okay. Also, while we are going there, we might want to take a look at the quartz production because we might want to put down a couple of dimensional depots for those. Okay, so meat can go in here. The rubber can go in here for now. But you know what, it, be, it will become a proper usable item, so I think I will keep it on us. Anything else, the rebar can go. And I think that's it. Yeah, okay. Uh, also, I will put the, healing, uh, the inhalers in here. And that's it. Right, also, yeah, the coffee cup can stay here, I think. That's going to be fine. Alright, so, let's see. We will definitely need a bunch of pipes. So, that's going to be enough. I will take three stacks all together. Cables look okay. And cased beams. Okay, uh, we might want to at least place down a storage for this one because I have been using this as a simple storage. So, there and there we go. So, at least we should have a little bit extra piling up in the here. What else we need? We need motors. Did we make enough at this point? That is the question. So, 50 and... 50 in here, that is enough. Okay, I will pick any extra up. 22, that's fine. And technically speaking, we are good to go. Now we just need to make sure we have enough uh, pipe material. So basically a couple of sheets. So I will pick up uh, three more stacks. That should be okay. Uh, let me see what else. Maybe a bunch of plates, because I think that will be necessary. There we go. Maybe one more. And I wouldn't mind having some extra concrete, but... No, wait, we have enough of those. Let's see. Um, rods, maybe. So maybe two stacks of rods. I don't think we will need... Um, Screws. I will put down this stack of 300. Let me check. Maybe some steel beams. And that is here, I believe. No. That is here. Sorry. Uh, two more stacks. What else? Maybe modular frames. Two should be enough as extra. And 
I think I am okay with this. Maybe some rotors and stators. One more set of rotors and... Do we have any extra stators? I think it's going to be a no. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we are producing less than we are using, so... That is what it is. Maybe cables. Yeah, I think cables are necessary. One more... St uh, there we go. Anything else? We need to do this right now before we go. Um, I think I would like to take some fluctuators with us. So in case we run into any Mercer spheres, we can set up the dimensional storages for the quartz production. So I will put down the heavy modular frames. And what else? I think that's it. Yeah. So this should give us enough space for the... Uh, what shall I call it? The fluctuators. There. 16. Um, right. I will go ahead and pick up one stack. Because the 100 that we have at the ready is not enough. Okay, that is in enough fluctuators for five storages. If we find five Mercer spheres, that will be kind of lovely. So, uh, I think we are pretty much good to go. Let's make one last check. But I think we are alright. The important thing is that this side is okay. So yeah, I think we are pretty much good to go. I will of course look, uh, keep an eye out for Mercer spheres along the way. And I guess we will see what happens. Can you hear me? Crescendo, the effigy found the key. Sing more. I was not created for artistic purposes. I am incapable of singing. You sing. Noted. Okay. Now we have these quartz crystals being piled into this storage. That's great. Uh, I wish we could do the same for the silica, or maybe we can. We have another sphere somewhere this way. If we can find it and access it, I will place down one more storage. Uh, this way. I can hear it. Sorry, is it? Huh. Okay, I think it's that little thing upside down hanging. Okay, uh, that should be fairly easy. We just need to build a small ladder there. Okay, this was the first that I have seen on the ceiling. Well, anyways, uh, let's get back to the quartz outpost, take care of the silica deliveries, and then we will move out to the uh, oil deposits. And that one. Also, don't get too close. Ow. Ah. I wanted to avoid disturbing that uh, hive. Okay, you guys can come here. I will take care of you. Oh well. So, 
one more dimensional storage coming right up. And another spider, great. How come I didn't see you before? Ah, oh well. The important thing is that now we have silica being distributed on the network. Great. So let me see exactly which way we need to go. It should be to the east from here. Let me see. Sorry, another one. Oh, right. Okay, this way. I don't want to get bogged down with the hive, so I will just go ahead and leave. So, it is somewhere this way, one kilometer away. That is a long way. Hello. Let's take a look. Okay, let's lure these guys out away from that hive. Yeah, can you guys come and get me? Oh, and we have a big one. That is not how I imagined this one going. Okay, the big one is down. Ah, come on, please. Oof. That was harrowing to say the least, but we got out in the end. Uh, we have six, I believe that is adds, that adds up. Okay, let's take care of the hive and then we will take a look at what we have lying around. And we have one more. Where are you? There you are. Anyone else? Okay, we have one more hive there. This is extremely well guarded, so I really hope it's easy to open. Anyone else? No? Good. Alright, let's take a look. In case beams we can store, we should be able to put away the sheets and pick up as much stuff as we can there some of these will be going over our stack limits because the inventory is completely full so let's take a look uh, we need 30 megawatts well i think we should be able to take care of this with a burner generator so this one will give us 30 megawatts perfect okay you hook up hook up to this guy and turn on open and that's it okay and stop please now this will fill up an inventory again i will get rid of the silica i suppose and we still need Okay, the key, uh, wires can be uh, dumped. So, which way we need to go again? It should be somewhere around here. Right. Okay, I will face that way and I will mark down this location as done. A regular size. Ah, it's fine. Okay. Off we go. Ooh. 
Well, this is an area I have not seen in this playthrough. So, I don't know what to call this one. Looks like some kind of calcified area. So, it should still be to the east. I skirt around the edges. There we go. And we have another one. Okay. Let's heal up and let's take a look. Um, I see one hive. No, sorry. Two, three hives. Okay. That's a problem. Let's see if we can get closer. Crack the attention of the big guy. Or maybe we can sneak up on one of these. Oh, wait. That's a debris. Okay. He's facing now. There we go. It's so us. Just need to go a little bit further away from the hives. So we can take care of these guys without the bees buzzing around. There we go. Okay. Hmm. I would like to take this meat because it is very valuable. Um, I will get rid of the iron plates. Also, that is a bigger version. Basically, the boss version of the highs. It just basically releases a lot more uh, bees. Just FYI. And I think that's it. Okay. Let's see what we need to unlock this one. We need 300 megawatts. Basically 10 burners. And that is something that we cannot afford at the moment. Uh, well, technically we can afford it. But it would be quite a bit of an undertaking to do. So, yeah. Also, we have packaged fuel. Aha. We can use this as a much better fuel for the jetpack so i will get rid of um yeah the reinforced iron plates so you come with us please and this is computers we cannot really use those yet so i will leave this here anything else that's it okay I will mark this one down as a 300 megawatt uh, storage. Okay, let's continue. There we are. We are very close now. And we have spiders. Great. Oh, great. That was a little bit easier than I was expecting. Uh, we cannot really pick up the slug. We have no room. So, plus it's just a blue one, so that's fine. If it was a purple, I might have considered uh, deleting something. Okay, let's see. There they are. And we have another spitter boss. And a smaller one. Anyone else? No? Good. Okay, let's heal up. And let's see what we have. So this is a normal. This is a pure one. Okay. We only really have enough stuff for a single extractor anyway. Also, I didn't bring the power. Great. Um, we will build everything and then we will bring the power backwards, I suppose. So oil extractor. You will face west, I suppose. 
And let me see here. Right, I will give you a power pole right away. Now, where do we want to build the refinery? Well, I suppose on this lake is as good a place as any. Okay, so foundation and this time on the universal grid. I suppose we can start it right here. Right, let's bring this one out as far as we can. Uh, you might be in the way. Also, invalid placement. Oh, right. This criterion deposit. Oh, well. Uh, can I get rid of this, whatever this is? Yes, we can. Okay, let's take a look. So this is now a nice two-tile wide platform. How big are the refineries? Uh, production refinery, they are about the size of a coal power generator. What I think we will do is to have the input pipes right in the middle. So we will need to extend this one one more. There. Okay. So we will have the pipes running through in the middle uh, here. Let me see. Is it just a single input? Uh, technically, no. We could have solid inputs as well. Mm. I believe for the crude oil, it is just a liquid input, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, so I suppose we can deal with pipes. Let me see. Uh, logistics, pipes. We will start this one right here and bring it out this way. Well, what about like this? There we go. Okay, we can bring it this far. Yes, okay. How long is this, by the way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles is the length of a pipe segment. Okay, next, let's place down the actual refineries. Um, there we go. So, four on each side, I suppose. Um, I think we can have these guys here. Uh, maybe a little bit closer to the pipe. So, there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see the spacing of the actual footprint. So, that looks alright to me. We can squeeze in the um, different inputs and outputs, so that's going to be fine. And the head lift doesn't seem to be too taxing, so I think we can hook this one up to the... Well, maybe... Yeah, there we go. That is exactly what we need. Can I make this one completely straight? Yes, we can. Perfect. You will go there, and you will hook into that one there. So the pressure shouldn't be too taxing for this one. I will bring the power here so I don't forget it. Um, there. Okay, now I would like to take care of the input and output from bro for both sides. So I suppose this one will need to be here. So we can take care of the both output so sorry both inputs with a single junction so you go right here in in you go and in you go 
That's great. Next. So we don't need to have any solid inputs. You will give us... Sorry. Residual plastic. Oh, right. After we refine the uh, heavy oil, we can have this polymer resin. And also, we will need that one as well, but we cannot get rid of the uh, fuel here, so we will have to do this version. Right? So, we have the plastic on this side and the rubber on this side. Okay. So, we need three more of each. One, two, and three. And this one as well. One, two, and three. Okay. Then the junctions. There. There. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This one needs to be turned around. This way, exactly. Yeah, and one more junction. Right here. Okay, this one can go away for now. Let's put in the pipes. In. Okay, that takes care of that. So... This is going to be the rubber, right? Yes, the rubber. And this will be the plastic. Plastic, plastic, and plastic. Okay. Now the outputs. Uh, let's take care of the heavy oil residue first. So I believe the consum uh, the output was 108, uh, 120 altogether, right? So we have four of these, that's 40. And four of these, that is 80. So yeah, 120 altogether. And the petroleum coke consumption is 40. So yeah, we will need three of uh, these to make the yeah, plastic, rubber. Yeah, three of these to take care of the uh, excess heavy oil production. Let me see. I think I will put these guys right here. So, one can be centered here. Well, maybe a little bit closer. So, this is the center line here. So, we will have one, two, and three. You guys will take care of the heavy oil. So heavy oil input, yes. You guys will take care of it by turning it into petroleum coal, a uh, coke, and 120 output. What is the consumption of the coal power generator with a petroleum coke? I am not 100% sure. I think it, it did say that the petroleum coke is going to be less efficient than the uh, normal coal. So I expect the consumption to be different. Okay, I will build, I suppose, one power generator for each. Plus we will need water as well. I think that should be a, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, we can take care of those as well. Okay, I will build one coal power generator for now. Uh, let me see. Okay, we need a little bit more. There we go. Also, I can see a spitter right there, which means... Oh, right, I can see the fireflies and it appears to be purple. Okay, we definitely need to take a uh, make a visit there. 
But first, let's make sure... Well... We are healthy enough, so I think I will go now. Let's do it. You. You need to die. Okay, these swamp spitters are extremely weak. There we go. And I can hear some bees buzzing around. I think they must be down here and they are stuck, so... You know what? I will leave them alone. That's fine. We have a purple slug and that's what's important. So, as I said, I will put in a single refi... Not, not refinery, sorry. A single coal power generator now. Uh, let's line it up with the different inputs and outputs. You can go here. And I will use this as a test case for the petroleum coke. Um, a merger, I suppose. Coming in from that way. Right. Output will go towards... Yes, that's it. Um... Maybe a small nudge. There we go. Ah, uh, okay, fine. There. There. No, wait, 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 wait. The input for these guys is going to be going this way. Okay, so output of the coke. goes in there and if it maybe we get lucky and it's going to be a one-to-one -one throughput if it is then i guess it's going to be great uh let's take care of the water uh i think the height difference might be a little bit too much uh, let's see do i remember what the Okay, maybe not. I think this is going to be doable. So, if we line this up like this. There. Then the pipes. You need to come up here. Preferably with the horizontal to vertical version. There. Also, preferably with the correct facing. Logistics, pipeline, you need to come up here and rotate it this way. Pre previously it was ever so slightly off, but now it's okay. So, for now you will feed into this one uh, straight. Also, I really wish that the pipes also had a um, straight version. That would be amazing. But they don't. They only have a, a straight version when it comes to vertical placement, not horizontal. And that's not great. Well, anyways. Let's hook things up in terms of power. Hmm. By the way, do we have a coal deposit nearby. Oh yeah. Oh, a lot. Uh, that is normal. Normal. Well, technically, I only need to have a little bit to kickstart this generator because this place could supply this whole place with enough power, I believe. Let me see. For example, this one will require 13 hours. Never mind. This is not going to be enough. So, anyways, let's sort out the power for these guys as well. Okay, 
Theoretically speaking, everything is hooked together in terms of power at this point. Uh, can I see the consumption? Max consumption 100 and... Oh, sorry, 220. Sorry, no, 390. Okay. We definitely need to take this back to the base. Okay, fine. So, we now need to feed the... Yeah, the oil residue into these refineries. Okay, let's take care of that. We definitely need to have a bit more space in front. There. And... Let's see. Hmm. I think I will start by adding a couple of junctions here. Ah, there, that should be okay. Sorry. Encroaching on another object clearance. What do you mean? This is the same spacing as the other one, so... What's the problem again? Okay, this is weird. Encroaching another object's clearance. Okay, fine. I suppose we can have these there, but why is it not happening for this one? I don't get it. Oh well. As long as everything is hooked together, I am going to be okay with that. Okay, so pipes next. We are going to have this one coming out this way and let's make it straight. Yeah, right about here. Okay, once again, junction time. Okay, now we just need to hook this in here and that's it. Okay, this pillar can go away. So one side is finished. Now we need to do this one more time. Alright, so that will take care of the heavy oil residue. And, well, I don't expect to come here too often. Uh, do we have any more Mercer Spheres? No, we don't. And, let me see. Do we have any nearby? Oh, yes, we do. We should have one right there. Where is it? Huh? Oh, right. Tapestry grows in the shallows of the clouds, but not through the windows. What is your route? I have no roots, nor do I operate on windows. But perhaps you mean something akin to the human saying. My point of origin is Earth. I was created by specific individuals of the human race. Incompatible music. Did I say something wrong, or did you not understand? You cannot be shallow deep. The ripples you cast into the void have no skin. It seems I may have said something paradoxical. Interesting. Okay, so we should have another Mercer Sphere somewhere here. Let's see. It is... Hmm. Yeah, I think it's going to be up there somewhere. Okay, I think we need to go out and look for it up here. 
I think we should be able to reach it from here. Um, yeah, we need at least two spheres because we need one for the plastics and one for the rubber. And uh, there we go. And yes, I can hear the guardian growling already. Okay, let's make sure we heal up. So, let me take a look. Oh, it's just a small one. So, where are you? Oh, and the big one. Okay, never mind. This is a try to windows and weaving. Great. Let's see if we can sort this out real quick. Ah, uh, that's just a blue one. All right. So, um, I think I will put them on an elevator, bring them here, and that's it. So we will, of course, start with. Uh, one storage container facing this way. Uh, it will slightly clip into the pipes, but I think that's going to be acceptable. There, and another one. Oh, right. We don't have enough room here. Well, maybe we can do it on the other side. Here. Oh, yeah, we can do it. So you will be there. Surface too uneven. Okay, fine. Storage container. I believe this was the spacing. Right. Okay, we can get rid of these now. And we will put one dimensional storage on top. So, on the other side. Exactly. Then the elevators. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Now, technically... We don't need to put them on uh, an, uh, what should I call it, an elevated belt, but I think that's going to be good practice to do so. So what we need to do is to have a set of mergers. Uh, this looks far enough. Don't forget, elevators need to be at least uh, three levels above, or sorry, two levels above the uh, different ports so there we go two and three oh right we don't need to have a merger for this one Okay, so we need to have elevators. Once again, listen to the clicks. There we go. Now this one is clipping through. Can I do this one? No, this is the best we can do. You know, I really wish that we could notch these elevators too, because if I turn them into a hologram, we cannot notch them, unfortunately. If we could, that would be amazing, but we can't. Oh well. You know what, no. I think this elevator needs to face this way. 
So you will be actually facing this way, please. Hmm. Maybe that way. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. There and... Well, maybe this way. Yeah, that is going to be just fine. Okay, so this will take care of the rubber. Let's do the same for the plastics. And I believe we are done, theoretically. So, if you don't mind, I will go ahead and build a nice big power pole on this end of the platform. And then we'll go ahead and take it back to the base. And once this place is hooked up to the power, we will ride those cables back and make sure everything works correctly. Right, let's do it. Uh, do we have enough resources, by the way? Uh, I think we do. Okay, lovely. Uh, maybe a little bit more. There we go. We will take this back to the base, but first let's hook it up to the local power network. Uh, there. And let's go. Okay, so we have the power poles brought back to the base. Let's see, we should be able to hook up to something nearby. If not, I suppose we can upgrade something, but there we go. Fingers crossed we don't overload anything. So far so good. Okay, maximum consumption is now above the capacity. But the actual consumption is still acceptable, so I think we should be okay. Okay, let's take a look and make sure that everything works as intended. Thankfully, now that we have these cables, we can equip the zipline and ride the cables back. Okay, I made a small mistake. I tried to make sure not to clip the wires through any anything, but apparently I wasn't careful enough. Um, I think, yeah, what I'm going to do is, yeah, that's fine. What I'm going to do is, can I hook into it from here? There we go. And I will build another one up there. that should make it so that we don't uh, bump into anything so there and this one oh where is the oh there you are it's a little bit close but you know what that's fine Okay, that mushroom was very, very close, but I think we got away with it. And this one is also a little bit dangerous, but that was all right. So let's see. 
I think we should be okay from here or not. Yeah. We managed to get there with only a single clipping issue. Okay, let's take a look. So, uh, there we go. So, petroleum coke consumption 25 per minute. And what is the actual production again? 120 per minute. That is actually very, very bad. Because, well, what if we overclock this guy? The co water consumption is uh, 45 as usual. So with this, consumption 62. Even with extreme overclocking, we can only consume half of what is coming out of one of these. That is very, very, very far from ideal. Well, I suppose that is something that we will need to tackle in the next episode. By the way, anything else that is... Sorry, what was that? Never mind. So, everything else I think is going to be okay. So, these guys should be fine. Let me see. I, yeah, I think the pipes need to fill up before these guys can start operating fully. Yeah, this one is, for example, completely full. So, it is generating enough plastics at this point. Then this one fills up. Then this one fills up. And last... This one fills up. That's fine. Okay. So, I think we have oil mm, relatively sorted. Relatively, because we are not exactly good on the byproducts. You know what? You go away. And for now, I will put the coke into big big storages so what i'm going to do is put the coke into a bunch of these big storages maybe even two stacks yeah let's make it two full stacks so in you go and you go in as well and then we will have an elevator go up there. There we go, we have a click. Then you will feed through that way. Then we will have the last one do this. There we go. And the last will feed through that way. So let's make sure that looks correct to me. Let's just make sure we have every base is covered. Okay, so we will fill that one up, then this one, then this one, then this, then this, then this. Okay, hopefully that will be enough storage for the petroleum coke. Until then, this is the best we can do. Okay, I will pick up a bunch of rubber and plastic, go home, see what we can unlock, and then we will say goodbye because we are way over time at this point. Oh, sorry, didn't I put in an elevator for this one? I did, so what's the hold up? This is the output. Big. There we go, okay. I don't know why it wasn't working before. Well, the important thing is that we have most of the things sorted around here. This is an unfortunate 
way of dealing with the excess production of the byproducts, but not much we can do about it for now. Let me just take a look. So this is the last storage. And we already have three stacks completely full. Okay, let's make our way back home. So we know that this side is okay. Well, this side... Um, let's just take a look at this side. So yeah, so this side is okay. And I can see a yellow slug up there, but uh, it's fine. I want to unlock a couple of things at the base. Okay, this one clips through this, this mushroom, so that is not great. We need to use this one for transportation. Okay, so until here, we were okay on that cable. Now we need to test this cable going back to the base. But it was okay. So this cable we can use to get to the uh, other side. That's fine. Or maybe we might get bumped into this one. No, that's all right. Okay, let's see what we can unlock. Wow, the momentum of the zip line was great. Okay, so select the milestone, and I think fluid packaging is what we need to go for. Um, if we package the heavy oil, then we should be able to shove it into the awesome sink, and that will get rid of it. Um, at least I think so. What else? We definitely want to package the fuel because it's going to be good for our trucks and it's going to be good for um, what you call it, our jetpack. Petroleum power. What is the consumption of these guys? I will go for this one, by the way. So plastic, uh, sorry, rubber, plastic, beams and some motors. Oh, lovely. Lots of beams. And uh, not a lot of motors, but enough for us to do what we need to do. Uh, sorry, not that one, but this one. Okay, petroleum power is unlocked. Milestone reached. It is my honor and privilege to inform you that the fuel powered generator, as well as the industrial fluid buffer, are now available. Due to a lack of gold in your sector, Caterium will serve as a suitable replacement to construct the fuel powered generator. Your research into this element was valuable. In fact, you in particular are my most valuable pioneer, but don't tell the others I said that, it would be bad for morale. Oh. Okay, so, I don't know what the consumption is. Let me just check. So, petrol, no, wait, 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 wait. Not that one. Fuel. Uh, it doesn't say. Maybe production rate. 60 per minute. I think this is it. Yeah, I think so. So 60 per minute. And to make the fuel, we can consume 60, so we will need 8. No, wait. What is the output again? 120, so we need two of these, and that will give us 40 fuel. So yeah, we can 
overclock this generator, I suppose. That will be alright. Yeah, I think so. That's going to be okay. Alright. Um, can we unlock anything in the MAM with the plastic and the rubber? And I believe sulfur... Yeah, we have enough rubber. But we don't have enough of this smokeless powder. For that one, we need 100 gunpowder. Let me see. We should have, I believe, a couple... Sort of, yeah, 50. And the sulfur. And I think this is going to be enough for to at least unlock the smokeless one. So, let me see. We just need 28 coal. Research completed. Smokeless powder recipe unlocked. New sulfur research available for the development of high-end weaponry and ammunition. Okay, so the smokeless powder, we need 50 of. And... Hmm. Where is it? It's not... Is it in the equipment? I didn't see it. No, that's just a black powder. Wait. Uh, sulfur. Smokeless powder. It is... Oh, okay. Never mind. We need to make this one in a refinery. We cannot make it in anywhere else. That's fine. So, we need 50 of these. Okay. That means we will need 100 regular gunpowder to make the uh, one that we need to make these. And that's about it, yeah. Okay, in the next episode we will take care of this for sure. I will even add it to the to-do the, to -do list. Just so I remember. And anything else. I think that's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I think we can say goodbye. And I think I will do so right now. All that is left to say is that thank you for watching. If you liked the video, you can leave a like, leave a comment, and maybe subscribe to the channel if you want. If you would like to support me a little bit more, you can do so by clicking the join button and becoming a channel member, which will give you an early and ad-free access to these videos. Once again, thank you for watching and thank you very much for your support. I will see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.